So good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, before we start uh, our panel with our distinguished uh, speakers, I would like to thank uh, the organizer for allowing me uh, the opportunity to animate the first debate of the Oil and Gas Lebanon National uh, um, Wells Conference. Briefly, and as uh, the managing director of Total in Lebanon, and the group representative, let me give you an idea about Total Business and Prisons. Total has operations in more than 130 countries and its exploration and production division is present in around 50 countries. We have the world's fourth ranked oil and gas company and also, which is less known, the second largest solar energy operators with sun power. But we have also, in the Middle East and North Africa, as well as a widespread expanding prison, uh, prisons with both upstream and downstream activity, as you can see in the map. In Lebanon, we are present in the distribution sector and retail market for more than 60 years. We are a market leader in some areas, focusing our development on safety, quality, service, and innovation. But energy is our business, and the least we can say today is that our environment is changing dramatically and the context of our industry is evolving on a number of fronts that have strong impacts on our businesses, results and perspectives. Our industry has to adapt quickly to this change, which include new resources, higher costs, lower prices, world political instability, we can see recently, of course, in Syria, Iraq, Libya and Yemen, stronger competition in human resources, and growing corporate social responsibility requirements. In a context of a sustained growing energy demand, Despite raising awareness and efforts in favor of energy efficiency, we remain in the context of growing energy demand, as the previous keynote speaker explained to you. We should attend 340, 50 million barrels per day of oil equivalent in, 2030, uh, in 2035 as total expectation driven by world population growth and development of the on OECD countries. In this context, demand for oil and gas will steadily increase over the next decades, as well for the other source of renewable energies. In our vision, demand for renewable energy will be multiplied by seven between 2010 and 2030, with solar representing the bulk of growth in that energies. Sorry. All supply will continue to be essential as the world's primary energy needs reaching close to 100 million barrels per day in 2030. Gas demand is expected to progress at a rate of 2% per year, with more than the half of the extra demand will come from Asia and the Middle East. The gas potential of the Levin Basin will have its share in this future energy mix. But let's uh, go to Lebanon. Total has a position in Lebanon on the offshore exploration. We showed our interest from the start 
in the offshore exploration projects of Lebanon. Prison for the binding process in 2013, we have been pre-qualified amongst 12 other mergers international companies as operator. In this context, uh, it is interesting today, 8th of June 2015, to highlight the project, progress and latest developments. It is the purpose of this uh, first session, during which distinguished Lebanese and international speaker will share with you precise technical information about the offshore in Lebanon, but also in the region, as well as their analysis of the situation. So please welcome with me Mr. Wesam Shbat from the Lebanese Petroleum Association, who will highlight us about updates on geological facts and figures. Then Mr. Hollins, which is the CEO of Neo Geo Solutions, who will speak about onshore in Lebanon and the potential confirm with question mark. Then Mr. Salon Cassinis, Managing Director of um, Cassinis International Consulting Limited, who will speak more about the East Mediterranean Sea and the province discoveries. And after Mr. Fouad Jawad, uh, President of National Oil and Gas Company of Lebanon, who will give us uh, analysis, his analysis, a solution in Bana and a solution to Lebanon oil and gas dilemma. So thank you for your attention. And